Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kevin here from, well, whatever channel I decide to upload this to. Uh, today I'll be doing a review on the Cydia tweak known as Folders Beta 1.1 V2 from White Door. If you guys don't know, White Door is kind of this thing that uh, it's a bunch of people working together trying to make iOS 4 features for the first generation iPod Touch and also the iPhone 2G, which both, if you guys don't know already, don't support the native iOS 4 operating system, which is the current iOS that Apple has released. And of course, these two devices were left out in the dust when Apple uh, announced iOS 4 in the summer of 2010, I believe. So that was kind of disappointing, and ever since then, White Door has been uh, trying to make things like folders and multitasking for you know the iPod Touch 1G and the iPhone 2G and among other various uh, iOS 4 features. But today I'm just going to be reviewing the folders tweak as you can see here. Uh, to get started I have a utilities folder if you guys can't see that and inside are the calculator and the clock app. So just to get you so just to show you guys a uh, look and feel about this, when you tap the folder just like iOS 4, it will open, it will split the screen, and it will show you your apps. If you want to, you can launch an app, obviously, like calculator here, and then you'll be greeted with the actual app, and then your home screen will return to normal. So I really do like the fact that it does have the iOS 4 look and feel to it, and th that does come with a few exceptions because here, I have my brother's uh, second generation iPod Touch, which if you guys don't know, has native iOS 4 on it. And the exact look and feel is not exact, but I will go to say it's about 90-ish uh, percent there. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll compare everything to this, but I'll just keep this here in case I want to show you guys something. But uh, the good thing is that you can obviously you know, have the folder there. It will cut your screen, so you do get that look. And you can also create folders just like you would, you know, on an iOS 4 capable device by clicking and not letting go like that. But you want to basically tap and hold icons until they wiggle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tap an icon, hold it until it like inflates a little bit, and then drag it over another icon until you see that small halo. As you can tell, no halo. And then there's that halo around it. So. Uh, if I want to make these two apps into a folder, all you have to do is do like that and then release. And then you will have a new folder on your home screen that you can automatically tap. And then it will split the screen to do just that and display the two icons or however many you put in a folder. Uh, just like iOS 4, you can obviously organize your apps inside of the folder. And how you do that is you open the folder, tap and hold on an icon, and then you just drag the icons around and then they will switch. And the thing I don't like about this is that it's not actually like iOS 4 in the fact that when you do drag over an icon, you'll notice that the other that Glyphboard app, well not really app, but it's a web icon, isn't moving. When you make a folder in iOS 4 and you actually want to move uh, stuff around, you can just move it and then everything slides into its place. That doesn't happen with the white door folders. But again, this is just in a beta release right now, so it is something that they might improve in the future. I don't know, but that's just how it is for now. Uh, also, you can rename the folder, obviously. You do that by opening the folder, and then you tap and hold on an icon until the name field it has this small X in it. You can tap on the name field itself, and then you can rename the folder like folder, etc., if I want to. And then you tap the home button to finalize it, and then you can tap it again to close it. As you can see, the title, the folder is renamed to folder, etc. And removing apps from the folder is just as simple. You just tap and hold it, and then you let it go. Now, the thing that I did notice about uh, this white door tweak versus the native iOS 4 operating system is that if you do make a folder, say I want to make a folder out of this fitness thing and the settings, when you go to actually edit it and remove an app, you see how it the only icon in that folder was you know inflated to reset back to just one icon. It doesn't happen on iOS 4. As you can tell, I took out the alarm clock app, but you still have a folder with one app in it, and that doesn't happen on iOS 4. Something they might have to work out, but you have to actually drag out that very last uh, icon to get the folder to disappear. Uh, so that's one thing that's a little different. Uh, also, another thing that's different, which I think is for the better, is 
that when you open an icon from a folder, so say open calculator, you will notice that when you close out of it, the folder isn't open. Now if I did that with my brother's second generation iPod Touch, say I loaded the videos app, and you have his one single video, when you close the thing, the folder is still open. And you can obviously download a studio tweak for that to close it, but uh, natively White Door already does that, so that's kind of a nice thing that I like about it. Uh, there are also a lot of things that I t don't particularly like about it. Uh, like I said, this is a beta version, so it's not necessarily the best version out there, but I can't really say that most of these are what is going to be in the final version, so I would you know, try not to think the, that these things are too detrimental, but they are kind of a biggie right now. First of all, you guys will notice the speed. It takes about one second for a folder to open, and that's relatively slow considered, uh, compared to the almost instantaneous opening of a folder on iOS 4 natively. Also, it crashes, it tends to crash a lot. Like, I had to film this a little video about five times because every time I tried to rename a folder, it crashed. So that's something I didn't like. Also, uh, the fact that if you want to move a folder or you actually want to open it while you're, you know, while it's wiggling, like that, it won't always happen to open like that. Sometimes if you have uh, multiple icon mover or whatever that app is, that tweak is, that you can move multiple icons at once, uh, that does sometimes interfere with the creation or the movement or opening of a folder when you're in the moving folders mode. So that's something to keep in mind also. It also doesn't fade the background, which is just kind of a aesthetic tweak, but you'll notice all the icons in the background are colored. When you tap on a folder in iOS 4, all the other icons in the background fade away. So that's a little difference I also noticed. And uh, like I said before, the you do, it's not animated when you move icons inside within a folder on White Door. You just have to let it go. Again, that's just to conserve um, some RAM and CPU power because you know iOS 4, well not iOS 4, 3.1.3. Uh, devices right now are really slow compared to most things and so they're trying to conserve some power there so that your eye device doesn't crash as much. So this is just a quick review for the uh, beta folders from White Door and I'm pretty satisfied with this for now. I'm saying that because it is beta version so I am kind of giving them a little leeway and a little excuse as to why these things don't work necessarily the way I'd want them to. But you know for now and set compared to categories SB which is you know, obviously this tweak right here uh, I do like the white door folders a little bit better, but not by much. Uh, I think that Categories SB is pretty much perfected by now. As you guys can tell, it's obviously not the white door folders where you can, you know, just open it and it looks just like iOS 4 where it splits the screen open like that. But, you know, they are pretty close, at least in my mind. So now that uh, you guys have seen this tweak, you, got, you probably want to know how to install it, and I'll be getting to that in the next section of this video. So you guys probably want to know how to actually get this Cydia tweak, and all you have to do is you have to open up Cydia, of course. And when you open up Cydia, you're going to go to your sources, and then you're going to hit edit, and then add, and you're going to add the white door repository. If you can't read it, there it says http colon slash slash white door dot com slash repo, and then a slash at the end. And the two O's that are supposed to be the, you know, the O's in door, in white door, are actually zeros and so don't make that mistake of putting actual O's there. And I'll just be putting a link to that in the description below if you guys still don't get it or if I just moved too fast for you. Uh, but now you're going to go to, well you won't, but you'll just look up beta folders 1.1 v2. And that is the actual folder, as you can see, it's uh, from White Door, as you can see there. And you're going to install that and then respring. And there is a dedicated app for this, so uh, you will be you will see a new app put on your home screen. And I have that app currently in the jailbreak folder that I have. And you can see here it says folders help, and you just tap on folders help if you want. This is all that you're greeted with. It's something big, so. It just says certain directories have to be correct for folders to work, blah, blah, blah. If something happens, you want to reconfigure your directories by tapping that button, and everything should be fine, dandy, and working. So that's how you are going to install folders. And then from there, 
uh, you when you respring, you'll get a notification that says it's from Darlo, uh, the person who made this tweak, and it'll say we'll ask you to donate or just you know, ignore because he made this. You know, and he released it for free, obviously. So if you want to go ahead, you can donate to him. Uh, if you guys think that this tweak is good enough, again, this is still just in beta, so don't expect it to be perfect. I'm sure they are working, uh, you know, around the clock trying to get these updates out so that you know the final release uh, will be out to the public instead of just beta release. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future, and then I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.